Good afternoon, this is Jack from theartchart.net and this is the intraday video for Thursday the 22nd of February. Our disclaimer, we do this for educational purposes only. We're here to share our technical analysis with you. We hope you can take some of what we're doing and learn from it, transfer it to your own charts. We're not here to issue trading signals. Right, I'm actually going to start with um, the RTH indices today. Let's have a quick look at where we are on those. Now, um, SPX... SPX, we still have a potential bull flag here. Um, and if we break over resistance at the daily middle band, um, which is right now is at 27.32 and has been tested at the high today, I think. Um, high was 27.31.26. So effectively, we've had another test of the daily middle band. This means it's been tested three times. It's holding so far. My feeling is it's probably going to continue to hold. But I do have an alternate scenario where we break up, um, get to about here, and then at that stage, this is a bull flag, and, when, um, and we retest the high. I'm not really thinking that's particularly likely, because apart from the else, we don't have any similar setups on NDX, um, NQ, RUT, TF. Um, but it is a possibility, and it is a possibility that I am considering. This would be the bull flag setup. Now, NDX... We had a nice rejection yesterday, and un as we did a higher high, unlike um, SPX, we've actually got a 60-minute sell signal fixed. It's nice. We've got a potential double top here. It's just got to break down. Um, it hasn't broken down yet. We haven't had breaks of the weekly pivots yet. I'll come to that when I'm looking at, um, at them individually. I have. I was looking at potential. This is there was a potential channel here, but it's um, it's got trash now. So I have been looking for possible um, wedge tur turns channel options. We have got another one here on SPX. Let's see if that actually survived the last move down. Just having I've updated this since now. Nope, that's broken too. Um, and if we look at RUT, um, RUT is also testing the daily middle band. Um, on RUT, that is at um, 15.36. Um, and the high of the day is 15.32, stroke three. So um, we're also on a 60-minute sell signal here. <coughs> the sell signals on both um, NDX and RUT are nice ones. Um, we should. I'm a bit surprised to see this back up here, to be honest. Um, but all we really need to do is hold uh, middle band resistance and we should go down from here. Again, we got a nice double top here. Um, again, obviously, it hasn't broken down yet. Now let's have a look at the, um, the futures charts. On ES, obviously, we went below the week to pivot. We've failed to convert it so far. That needs to be converted. Um, what are we looking at in pattern terms here? Well, I think we're looking at what I was looking at in the pre market, which is we're looking, it's gone a little higher than I was expecting expecting and would be ideal but I mean um, that's often the case within normal variation this is actually a pretty nice looking double um, sorry head and shoulder pattern so on a break below 2680 and conversion um, this would take us to at the 2610 2615 um, area and that's where we've got the next big level big level of support what we should do here is fail um, down into that next um, and we may well have um, reversed um, for the day and made the high of the day and be going down now. Could we go back and do a retest? Yeah, it would be tedious, um, but if we wanted to set up a double top to um, then break down through um, uh, the weekly pivot, then we could do that, yes. Um, let's have a look at NQ. NQ, is this a possible head and shoulders forming? I'm thinking probably not. Um, or at least it makes a much better fit as the original um, double top here. We could possibly... Um, regard this as a, a slightly up sloping head and shoulders. Again, we went down, we tested the weak pivot. That needs to be broken and converted. This is the same on all three of the indices. Um, TF went down, did a slightly more thorough test of weak pivot, as I recall. Hopefully we'll get the data up in the moment. Yeah, um, did a slightly more thorough test. That needs to break, be converted. Um, we've got another We've got another pretty decent looking um, double top here. Um, it broke down slightly. It needs to go down and deliver the goods. Um, that would get us back to slightly over 1490. And and it would get us back to this rising support trend line, which I've got slightly over 1490. So um, that would be another potential um, point of support on um, on RUT that I'd be uh, RUT stroke TF that I'd be watching carefully um, if we should get there. Now DX. Um, DX, the rising wedge has broken down. We're back under the monthly pivot. Um, the 60-minute sell signal hasn't quite made the possible near miss target yet. I'm expecting more downside, and I think a head and shoulders may be forming. If so, we would the ideal right shoulder high would be in the um, monthly pivot area. CL, um, we've seen Stan's move that he was talking about last night. Um, which was a last move up to 63. He was talking about this as a possibility. He was saying that um, the turn had been a little early and 
and here we are. Um, this is actually now a pretty decent looking double top and on a break below um, um, last night's low, which was at, uh, what was that, about 60.65, um, um, then that will take us directly back to this low and should be lower. Um, so we don't have any current divergence. I am wondering about a possible retest of the high to set up a possible 60-minute um, sell signal. I have. I was looking at some trend lines here. I've got. Um, I've got a, the original wedge support channel. I did comment it wasn't very good, and I think we have established a channel at um, at the low today. Um, doesn't mean it needs to go to channel resistance, but I drew in some of the more likely um, resistance trend lines. We haven't quite hit the lowest one. Uh, but we have hit Stan's target, so it doesn't necessarily need to go higher, but it could go a bit higher. Um, so I've, this isn't, this wouldn't be a decent trend line. It doesn't have to be. Um, so, um, but watching this with interest. Um, in the event that we got that high, I'd be looking for resistance at the monthly pivot 6368. I wouldn't expect to see it go that high. Um, we shall see. All right, NG. NG's not been doing a great deal for the last couple of days. Um, it has been. Just messing about in this area here. This is broken double bottom resistance, and I was saying that this wasn't really decent double bottom action. And that remains the case. I'm still wondering whether we're forming a um, bear flag here to retest the low and possibly take us down to the attractive target area in the 2.4 area. But at the moment, it's hard to say. There's very little happening. My best read on the very short term pattern here would be that we're forming a bull flag, which would probably deliver a retest of this little high here. That's not an awful lot of movement from where it is now, so we'll see. Right, GC. GC, the um, 60 minute bicycle is now making targets. Um, we've had a nice move up. We've got double bottom resistance up here in about 13, 38.5 area. Um, we've got, if we see that, um, then a breaking conversion of that level would um, get us back up into the mid 50s um, and then likely retest this high and higher. Um, this should be the start of the next leg up starting at last. Um, so at least I very much hope so. That would be nice to see. Now, ZB, the problem child. Um, ZB has gone a little lower. We're coming back. We've done the back test that uh, Stan was talking about, and he's talking about a um, possible triangle thrust down. Let's just have a quick look at the TNX charts. Now, this is the rising megaphone on TNX. As you can see, it's still holding resistance. That was yesterday's high, um, and it's held resistance like a champ. This is why I was saying that um, I was I was thinking that the TNX chart, I mean, the um, the the correlation varies uh, between um, the inverse correlation between TNX and ZB, but at the moment we are just annoyingly crawling up this resistance trend line. We're not breaking it. Um, we could break it as a slight um, bearish overthrow, but at the moment there's really not a lot to say that this is going to get broken. Um, and sooner or later, as and when this has found its level, this should reverse, and it should reverse pretty hard. I have been speculating um, that we could get a flight safety trade going if we saw a, a strong move down in equities, and that could happen. Um, but it would need to be a pretty strong move, and it wouldn't be apparent at the beginning. Um, really, at that stage, you're, um, we'd be looking, um, people would be starting to panic, um, and obviously there's some way from doing that at the moment. Um, but if we get a really strong move going, particularly if it goes farther than we're part currently expecting, um, then then this could get going. And got to say, that would be a pretty good match with the TNX setup here. That doesn't need to deliver. We haven't got a daily sell signals fixed. We've got them brewing. Um, but I mean, they've been brewing for days now and we haven't got them fixed yet. We'll see how it goes. Um, there is a potential dark horse big rise here on them, on ZB, but, um, you know, it's, uh, we'll have to see. It rather depends what happens on everything else. Right. HG. HG um, has formed a larger bull flag and has broken up from that. I really think this is going. Uh, I think TX is on the way down, I think GC is on the way up, and I think HG is on the way up too. Um, I'm not expecting an even larger bull flag to form with another decline. Um, I could be mistaken, but I think HG is, is about to start moving with a trend and really get the bits between its teeth. We shall see. All right, KC. KC, um, as I was saying this morning, the 60-minute bicycle is fixed. I'm not seeing a clear top bottoming pattern here. There's possible IHS breaking up here at the moment. When I'm expecting to see more upside from the 60-minute bicycle, we should see a test of the weekly pivot at least. If that breaks and converts, then that opens up the monthly pivot, which is at 124.27. Hang on. Just moving it over. 
Um, I think the odds of reaching the monthly period actually aren't bad at all. Um, from On my stuff, we, this could be the major low um, that we're making right now. Um, Stan's got it down as possibly going down as bar, par, far as 114. Um, for me, that's not required. It's made it's made the minimum it needs to do. It could go straight up from here. So watching this with great interest, um, I'm liking KC to the long side at least to the weekly pivot and very possibly to the monthly pivot. And if it breaks and converts to the monthly pivot, then, then we're off to the races in all probability. All right, SB. SB, um, I commented that we'd broken the channel resistance. We were testing weekly pivot. We've broken that. We've moved up. Um, what is the pattern here? Well, I think the pattern here is a slightly asymmetric double bottom here, and we're just over double bottom resistance. Now, we haven't got a signal here. We could fail here and head straight back to a retest of the low. But if we're going higher, then the obvious target is the monthly pivot, as that would be the target on this double bottom, pretty much. Um, so I'm favoring the monthly pivot option. CC. CC still likely topping out. Nice little double top formed here. Um, if we weren't already on a 60-minute sell signal, another one would now have fixed. Um, I'm liking the downside here. This is likely topping action. We should be seeing at least a test of the weekly pivot. Um, and the obvious trend line target is this rising support trend line currently in the 2030 area. CW. CW is interesting because I think Stan's looking much considerably shorter on that. Um, and this morning we had a 60 minute buy signal fix. Nice little double bottom here. It hasn't broken up yet, but if we see a breaking conversion of 452, then that should do 459. And that gets us back to the weekly pivot. Um, bit of a theme here developing, I suppose. Uh, it's, um, and, and at that stage we would see what would happen. Might just be a rally, um, but I like this more on the upside. It's not reached the possible name as target. GBP USD. GBP USD, a 60 minute buy signal is fixed and it's reached the possible NMS target. We've gone slightly through um, declining resistance, but the main thing is we're up at weekly pivot, monthly pivot, double resistance. Um, if it can break and convert that, then um, then that opens up this declining resistance trend line just under 141. Break and convert that, and then we are off to the retest. Um, is this still looking like a double bottom? I'd have to go with no, probably. It doesn't look like an IHS either. Um, but I think the um, I think this resistance, I think overall, this looks like a likely bull flag forming, and that is bull flag resistance. Break that, and we should be gone. Okay, let's have a look at EURUSD. EURUSD was on a buy signal. Um, has that made target? Let's see. Right, um, that's not made the possible near miss target. I'm expecting more upside. Again, we can have an IHS forming, um, which would be a mirror image of the um, head and shoulders on DX. Um, it's broken up from the falling wedge. I'm expecting to see more upside. USD JPY has gone a little lower than I was expecting. Um, it was um, it's testing the weak pivots currently underneath it. I wasn't really expecting that. We could does mean though that we could um, we this I think this is a likely flag forming um, which we should resolve into a test of the um, falling channel resistance in the 108.25 area. I could be mistaken. Um, but basically, it needs to not convert the weekly pivot to resistance, I think. That opens up a potential retest of this low. And Stan's overall lean is bearish. Um, but it's a nice channel. It should, go and, it should go and test channel resistance before it hits channel support again. USD CAD. If you've got any questions, by the way, um, put, them in the, uh, put them in the chat and I'll answer them at the end. The USD CAD um, has come back. It's tested rising support again. A 60-minute sell signal is fixed. Probably topping out here, but um, until rising support breaks, that's harder to say. And I've got that currently um, slightly over the January monthly pivot. So let's say in the 1.268 um, area. Yep, Australian dollar. Australian dollar, we had a weak 60-minute buy signal fixed. Um, that has delivered, I think. Yes, we've reached the possible near miss target. Nice little rally. Um, needs to get back over the weekly pivot if it's serious about going up. Um, and hasn't reached that yet. I quite like the odds of reaching it. I've got a possible inverse head and shoulder neckline there. NZUSD. NZUSD, um, this looks a lot like flag. Forming. Um, the obvious next target is flag resistance. That's in the 73, 75 area. Um, and we'll see from there. No current divergence, um, but this looks like impulse flag. And the obvious move would, um, next move would be a uh, possible retest of this level here. If we were to see that retest, we would have a nested double top setup. 
that would need to play out to the downside, but it might well. Um, so, and that would be bigger double top here and smaller double top here. So I quite like that scenario. I'd be interested to see that. Um, and I think if that forms, it may well deliver. Right. Um, okay. In that case, that's a wrap. I'm going to stop the recording.